Hello and welcome to Real Science for Kids. The videos in this series are the advanced experiments for pre-level 1 chemistry. The title of this experiment is What Will Happen? Have fun discovering real science with Rebecca. Hi, I'm Dr. Keller, and today we're going to look at chemical reactions. We're actually going to look at four different solutions and how they react with each other. So your teacher will have prepared four different solutions for you, and they're labeled A, B, C, and D. So the first part of the experiment asks you to just observe these solutions, to think about them. What do they smell like? What color are they? Are they thick or are they thin? So let's take a minute and look at each of these solutions. This one is kind of yellow. It's not very thick. It's kind of thin, watery-like. Uh, it has some floaty uh, material in it. It smells a little citrusy. So I could write those down about, about A. Let's take a look at B. B looks a lot like water. Uh, it's, very, it's very clear. It doesn't have any color to it. It's not thick. It's thin, just like water. And, ooh, it has a very strong smell. So it's probably not water. So let's take a look at C. C is much thicker. And it's not clear. It's a cloudy, milky, white color. And it has almost no smell that I can, I can smell. And D is kind of thin. It has some, it looks like some uh, material in the bottom, some white stuff at the bottom. And it's thin, like water. And has kind of a weird smell, a little salty smell. So that's the first part of the experiment, is to simply look at the four solutions, find out what color they are, sort of get their smell, get a feel for these, for these solutions. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we actually mix some of these solutions. So this whole experiment is about what happens, what, what's a chemical reaction, you know, what happens when you mix, mix different materials together. So the very first part of the experiment asks us to add A to B. So here we have A and here we have B. But before I add them, I'm going to take a guess. What do I think might happen if I add A to B? Well, I think nothing's going to happen. I think there isn't going to be much of a chemical reaction at all. Okay, so let's see if I'm right. I'm going to add A to B. And sure enough, nothing happened. There's no bubbling. There's the, it looks like it just got diluted, the material that was in there. Really not very, not very much happened. So I'm going to write that down in my notebook. Nothing really happened when I added A to B. So now we're going to look at what happens when we add A to C. But before we do that, we're going to take a guess. So what do you think will happen if we add A to C? Well, my gut feeling is that when I add A to C, there's going to be a chemical reaction and C is actually going to get a little clumpy. So let's find out if that's actually what happens. So I'm adding A to C and sure enough, this is getting a little bit clumpy. You can see it's starting to form a kind of a milk, milky precipitate. And if I put my finger in there, you can see that it's changing. The white stuff is changing. When I added A to C, I'm getting a, a chemical reaction. All right, so let's see what happens when we add A to D. But before we do that, let's think about it. Uh, what do you think is going to happen if I add A to D? Well, I have a feeling that when I add A to D, there's going to be a nice big chemical reaction. Okay, so let's find out if that's what happens. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Big chemical reaction with lots and lots of bubbles. Now we're going to see what happens when we add B to C. Okay, but before we do that, let's think about it. Well, B and C, yeah, I think when I add B to C that this, 
again, the C is going to uh, form a precipitate. There's going to be a, a chemical reaction. So let's see if that actually happens. Kind of. It happens. Ooh, it is. It's beginning to precipitate. You can see the uh, clumps, the milky sort of white clumps forming. If I put my finger in there, similar than when we added A to C. Not as many clumps, but it's beginning to clump. Just like when we added A to C, but it's a little different. It's not quite the same. The clumps are a little bit smaller. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we add B to D. But before we do that, let's think about it. Okay, let's see. B and D. Um, yeah, I think when I add B to D, there's going to be another very big reaction. Okay, are you ready? Woo! Yes, another big reaction. Okay, so let's find out what happens when we add C to D. Okay, but before we do, let's think about it. All right, C. And D, hmm, I really don't think much is going to happen when I add C to D, I have to say. I think it's just going to dilute the milky stuff down. I don't think we're going to get any real precipitate or reaction happening. Let's take a look and see if anything is happening. Nope, nothing's really happening. So let's take a look at all these solutions and find out what they are. A is lemon juice. B is vinegar. C is milk. And D is baking soda water. Has a little bit of baking soda mixed with water. Let's take a look at what actually happened. We mix A and B. A is lemon juice and B is vinegar. And did a reaction occur? No. In fact, when we added A to B, nothing much happened. What about when we added A to C? Again, A is lemon juice and C is milk. Well, when we added A to C, C began to precipitate. The, the milk began to curdle and we were able to see some clumps in the milk and that's a chemical reaction. And what about when we added A to D? Well, when we added A to D, D is baking soda water and A is lemon juice, there was a quite a big reaction. Lots of bubbles came out and an overflow in the cup. Well, what about when we added B to C? Remember, B is vinegar and C is milk, and when we added B to C, it was very similar to when we added A to C, and the milk began to curdle, and there was a precipitate that formed. And when we added B to D, again, it was really similar to the, when we added A to D, and a big reaction occurred with lots of bubbles because B is vinegar and C, D is baking soda. All right, what happened when we added C to D? C is milk, D is baking soda water. Not much happened. It just diluted the milk and the water. So this didn't form a chemical reaction. Well, that was fun looking at chemical reactions. Thank you for discovering real science with me. I'll see you next time. Discovering Real Science with Rebecca is presented by Gravitas Publications Incorporated in collaboration with Burt Johnson Video Productions. Visit them at webbizvideos.com. And you know, the good doctor is still playing in the lab. All right, so I was really curious about what would happen with club soda because club soda has some sodium bicarbonate in it. And I was really curious to see what happened if we added vinegar because I've never actually tested club soda. So what do you think? Think anything will happen? Zip. Nada. Nothing. So now let's take a look at what happens when we add baking soda water to tonic water. Tonic water actually has some citric acid in it. Let's see if anything happens at all. A ah, little bit of bubbles. What happens if we add vinegar to that? happens if we add baking soda to that? <laughs> That's what I wanted. That's all. We're out of time. <laughs>